everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm guided to do a light language channeling for us today in connection to the Leo full moon. Um, but kind of just a, a full overview kind of cleanse I'm getting. There's been a big emphasis on um, <laughs> kind of just a collective purge in a different way for all of us emphasis on really kind of taking stock of how much we've grown what we've been through where we can um, kind of alchemize some things that maybe have been still holding us back within our own personal narratives or even just judgments we have upon others ourselves or the world especially when the world's going through so many changes so many things um and I'm actually very guided to make a couple different videos talking about um, sovereignty in general and just how to really anchor in our energetic bodies with our being merging and then being grounded throughout where we go in the world and how we interact with others because sometimes we can get triggered or what have you. So I hope you're all doing well navigating things. Um, this full moon in Leo is a big emphasis also on our identity, how we show up in the world, how we kind of present ourselves. So we can also kind of reevaluate, are we doing things because we think we need to? Um, do we feel the need to show a certain side of ourselves that we don't really fully even identify with? Um, just a couple things to think about. Um, yeah, but let's see what comes through for the light codes. And yeah, do a little bit of energy clearing. Ashao rakao kuen niyo koroko mayashi arna niya karoko mayasha uku. Ima kara kiko yoko do shima kaya koya kaya sha uku do do. Ima ya niya karoko daya niya sha uku do iki maka uku uku uku. Ikeda. So this is, I'm hearing mainly going to be Arcturians helping us cleanse. And they're saying too that if you're noticing your body kind of getting congested or dealing with headaches, different things, um, it's part of cleansing your system and having this huge upgrade come in. A higher frequency has definitely come into the earth, I would say, the past two weeks. I've been feeling it. I don't know about you guys. Let me know. Uh, so taking a lot of nur nurturing steps to take care of yourself through these upgrades. A lot of it too, they're saying, is how our body responds to trauma or triggers. It could be old responses coming up that we're now... Um, have the capacity to feel to process because maybe if we've experienced something as a child we didn't know how to process it so we just disassociated or kind of put a band-aid on it and we've used that system of survival and now we're being asked to um, reevaluate to really nurture ourselves even if it doesn't make sense why something may be coming up Ground and clear. おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、おこと、
to overflow, to come to the surface and allow the logical mind to kind of take a back seat because this is healing our emotional intelligence, healing our connection to ourselves, our trust in our bodies, in our minds, and our spirit, all connected. And thus, when we can kind of heal these parts that we've fragmented that have happened to us from either society or past of whatever it is, we can bring all of those pieces back into the present moment. We can heal. So sometimes we have the systems or the cycle of the death and rebirth. It's ever flowing just like nature. So be gentle with yourself if you're in a cycle or part of the cycle that you're kind of not wanting to be in or it feels uncomfortable. Allow yourself some time to kind of witness and not be so hard on yourself. I'm hearing I don't know about you guys, but even the last couple, I'm gonna say five days, I've had a lot of the past resurface, like a lot. Things that I thought I was done clearing or had made peace with. And um, it's triggered my mental state and that inner critic to kind of go on overdrive and kind of pr perceive through that overdrive state of um, old past places. So if you're experiencing something similar, you're not alone. Again, it's, I keep hearing, it's like the defibrillation, like even a computer, when we get upgraded, we have to let go of things to make room for that upgrade. It's kind of like a, um, a merging of our system. And I'm hearing too, when we need to rest, when we need to take care of our body, that's also kind of um, our teams, our energy, telling us that we're, we're needing to recalibrate. So listen to what you need. Clear. You might have um, a kind of spark of new creativity. Like they're showing me we're being activated through when we release to have this reemergence of what we're really connected to, really excited about, even just like this new take on life, this new acceptance of ourselves and the world, even though the world is in such an interesting place right now, holding space for sovereignty, for peace, for clarity for all human beings of their own purpose, their own self, their own way of being, especially being untethered from any societal pressures, any uh, conditions. So the, maybe like an hour ago for me, I asked what was the main thing we're all kind of collectively working through. And they said codependency. Codependency upon things to kind of either make us feel worthy, make us feel safe, um, feel valid in our existence. So it could be any type of codependency, a relationship, a substance, um, even just old bad habits that have kept us alive, that are great, that used a purpose or had a purpose for us. Um, but they're saying in this way, the codependency is also what keeps us in a loop of searching outside of ourselves to give away our power. So there's an emphasis on where can we allow those codependent behaviors to be witnessed and to really evaluate, does this hold value for me? Does this hold what I really want to be and keep doing in my life? Is this necessary? Are there other things I can do to shift that 
need or hunger for something beyond what I can already give to myself. What does that mean? What does that do? And a great example, <laughs> is when we expect someone to do certain things in a codependent way, either I won't feel good if you don't do X, Y, and Z, that's when we're kind of being shown we need to do that for ourselves first so we're not giving our responsibility to someone else for our own happiness, our own balance, our own eco <sighs> way of living, they're saying. And again, at this time, it's it's not needing to be hard on ourselves, but it's just being aware and allowing ourselves to see what that codependent behavior kind of maybe even holds us in a space of not growing or holds us in a place of fear even. And they're saying too that codependent behavior has been created through either whatever trauma, whatever things we've experienced, that we then kind of learned how to get our needs met or people please even. A lot of us can as empaths be people pleasers and try to make everyone else happy so that we feel safer, that we feel more at peace instead of others being at chaos or whatever it may be. So they're saying also in that way when we allow ourselves to become in to ourselves, come into what we really need, what we value, we can start to see why that codependency is it necessary then? And it's okay if we do still have those acts of needing things to feel better, to help us operate. <laughs> um, it also is about intention. So if we can also be aware of why we're doing some things with the intention to set it in motion, to help a new trajectory of our being to keep unfolding, keep evolving. <laughs> of us are still letting go of a lot of grief a lot of heaviness we've been holding on to a lot of fear for the future even no, I am. You might feel that this transmission brings up more to the surface, more grief, more emotions of any kind, and that's okay. Try to sit with it, allow it. Know also that you aren't your emotions, you aren't your past. So the Arcturians are saying that they're they're bringing in a new level of like a, another aura, but they're saying like aura protection in this way of um, 
kind of encasing our energy so that as we are upgrading, as we are purging and releasing, we're really held in our own frequency. That we can also then feel when we take on someone else's energy or also when we're reliving someone else's energy too. We'll feel more of the distinction of our own frequency because we all have a different vibration that we hold. So we can start to kind of feel into it and it might be very subtle if you're still opening up to your own multidimensionalness. Um, you might even get information through just hearing or just sensing and kind of knowing that cognizance. Um, you might have visions of certain things that are kind of connecting your, your journey, the codependency, bringing a lot of information in. Um, especially this weekend I'm hearing. So if you can take time to really meditate or be out in nature to listen, whatever works best for you, heed your personal intuition. But they're saying that this kind of is, um, I'm hearing like in this way, an initiation of really grounding in our own frequencies, grounding in this higher dimensional frequency that's been coming into earth for quite some time that, um, is kind of burning away old frequencies and densities, um, which can cause a little friction, right? So be gentle again, they're saying in this way. Um, Kaukuashi So they're telling me that um, this channeling can be listened to a couple times um, throughout the weekend. If you feel guided, it will keep kind of reinforcing your own frequency. They're telling me too that the light codes are speaking to each and everyone's higher self in some different way, which is really cool. Because um, I was seeing each um, kind of own light body. Um, being activated and kind of cocooned and then your higher selves kind of coming deeper into your system and allowing this frequency to be really held, really nurtured. Um, and they're saying too, like, if this doesn't really resonate and make sense, there might be some new openings that happen to you um, through your own abilities of sensing and awareness. Um, so yeah, take it all with a grain of salt. Yeah, so they're saying this is also a clearing to help take away any other frequencies that you've been holding on to. Um, especially other people you're close to in your life that maybe you do have a, a strong codependency with or um, have been working to create some boundaries. So this will also help with that. Um, but also in this way, it's not a negative thing, the codependency they're saying too. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a tool. It's something we can learn from, what we survive with, what we're conditioned to. Fall into. Now, Kushima Kado. So, 
take some deep breaths right here if you feel guided to follow along or just breathing in I feel like this lavender and golden sparkling frequency of clearing of the upgrades that we're ready to receive so that our system, our physical body can even vibrate on a higher frequency. That we can step into higher states of consciousness, of abundance. So I'm hearing specifically too, we're, we're looking at what codependency we have upon different consciousness levels. So even I'm hearing poverty consciousness, lack mentality, all of that kind of thing can be codependent when we're so conditioned into feeling that's the only truth. Nasha rakika, so it's awakening us to the infinite, the amount of possibilities, all of the infinite possibilities that we get to really be a part of and coexist with. Nasha rako doishima kaoko. Okay, I'm hearing we're complete for today. I hope that channeling helped you in some way and supported where you're at at this time. I want to say thank you to everyone's support. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. And a couple announcements. I just um, began or have begun a Patreon membership if you feel guided to join it's only $11, um, and I'm thinking of expanding, making even a, um, a smaller monetary value and then a, a couple different tiers involved. But within that, you get uh, a private community to really connect to and feel safe to express what you're going through and know that you're not alone. Um, also within that, there's once a week new upgrades that are custom made, just like this uh, video, light language channeling for those involved into the group so we can kind of go into your own system and break down what's happening any challenges kind of go into that um, to support you and your expansion and within that too there's i'm going to begin doing live zoom events so within that you get first um, access to it and also within that there's a discount code for any of my services i offer if you'd like to get a one-on-one -on -one reading channeling uh, Arcturian channeling, Palladian sound bath, all those things. Um, there's a 20% or 30% discount code. I forgot which one I decided to do, but if you feel guided to join, that would be awesome. No pressure at all. Um, just feel guided to extend uh, more support in different ways of community. And if you feel guided to do a one-on-one -on -one session, you can reach out through my website. Um, yeah, I appreciate you all. I hope you have a great full moon, great weekend, and I'll see you guys soon.